In this video, we will learn about the construction of the retinoscopy and different parts of the retinoscopy. So we have the Heine retinoscopy, which is from the Germany, and the model is Beta 200. Now we will learn about the different parts of the retinoscopy. Now we have different parts of the retinoscopy. And now we will learn that how to fix all these different parts of the retinoscopy together. So first of all, we have rechargeable battery. You can see the power of the battery. And yes, you have to read the instruction first that you cannot crush it or you cannot expose to the heat or the fire. And yes, do not short circuit, right? So and then we have handle of the retinoscopy. And the most important thing, this is called the head of the retinoscopy. And this is neck of the retinoscopy. So now we will fix all these together. Now, first of all, you have to put this battery into the handle of the retinoscopy. And these two arrows, these two arrows are indicating that you can put this battery to the either side, this way or this way. So I am putting this battery inside the handle of the retinoscopy. And then this is to fix the battery inside the handle of the retinoscopy. So we have fixed it. And now we will move toward the neck of the retinoscopy. Now this is called the light source, the bulb of the retinoscopy. Right? And this light source, this bulb will fix inside the neck of the retinoscopy. This is called the neck of the retinoscopy. And this light source, this bulb, I will put this bulb inside the neck of the retinoscopy, you can see. And this device is for to fixate the light source inside the neck of the retinoscopy. So I'm gonna fix it. You have to keep it in mind that the light source inside the neck of the retinoscopy is fixed. This is not rotatable. And now on the upper side of this bulb, which is inside the retinoscopy, this is called, this movable thing is called the sleeve of the retinoscopy. You can see this is movable. This can go up and can go down. This is called the sleeve of the retinoscopy and above the sleeve of the retinoscopy here you can see inside the retinoscopy there is a condensing lens which is impossible to come out if you can see when i move the sleeve up you can see inside the condensing lens will come out if i can show you if i move this sleeve up the condensing lens is coming out. So the condensing lens inside the retinoscopy is movable. And this sleeve can move up and down and this sleeve can rotate as well. And this is called the peep hole of the retinoscopy from where the observer will see the reflex in the patient's pupil. And this side will face the patient and now we will simply fix the head the handle of the retinoscope and the head of the retinoscope together and now we will learn that how to switch on this retinoscopy for this i have to reduce the lights in my room to switch on this retinoscope, you simply press this button and you have to rotate this and your retinoscopy is on, you can see. And by moving this sleeve, as I'm rotating this sleeve, you can see the light spot and this light spot is called the streak of the retinoscopy because this is streak, so that's why these retinoscopy, these modern retinoscopies are called streak retinoscopies. 
so when i'm moving this rotating this leaves the streak on my table is rotating accordingly as you can see and now we will learn that what will happen when i move this leaf up or down we can perform the retinoscopy on plane mirror effect and the concave mirror effect so we can create plane mirror effect or concave mirror effect by moving this sleeve up and down if the sleeve is down so it means our retinoscopy is on the mode of the plane mirror effect and when we move this slide sleeve up so it means we are creating the concave mirror effect so after switching the retinoscopy on if our sleeve is down so you can see the thickness of the streak of the retinoscope is higher so this is called the plane mirror effect and when i push this sleeve up now you can see the thickness of the streak is getting lower and this is called the plane mirror effect so you can perform the retinoscopy at plane mirror plane mirror effect by moving the sleep down and you can perform the retinoscopy at concave mirror effect by pulling the sleep up so when the sleep is down and we are on the mode of the plane mirror effect so it means the distance between the fixed bulb and the rotatable condensing lens is less so the lens the condensing lens and the bulb are closer to each other so that's why there is the plane mirror effect and when we move the condensing lens away from the fixed bulb then we create the concave mirror effect now further i will explain with this diagram as you can see this is handle of the retinoscope this one and as we have discussed here there is a fixed light source which is called bulb as you can see here this is light source and here upper side of the light source here it is a condensing lens so when the retinoscope is switched on the light will go will hit the condensing lens and the condensing lens will converge all the light on the mirror of the retinoscope which is at 45 degree and this mirror will put all the light in the eye of the patient 